Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now getting closer to the end of April of 2023 and that means we're also very near to the marketing of the Ahsoka Tano series beginning of course by John and Dave to really prep it for its August release on Disney+. Plus. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that there's a lot of things happening right now with John and Dave's treatment on Season 3 of The Mandalorian, they've been getting quite a handful of different reviews, fan criticism, fan backlash, uh, based on the overall direction of the series. We have seen that Rotten Tomatoes, I know Rotten Tomatoes is not the best, you know, place to use for, you know, the current state of a specific show or film, but if you go there and look at the comparison to season two and one, you can see the drastic difference in the tomato meter for, you know, the actual fans, the audience, instead of the critics. Now, the thing about this that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni had to say about is actually quite shocking and interesting because it does shed light on what could have very well have had an impact on the storytelling of The Mandalorian Season 3. You know, things that I personally have noticed that a lot of fans are bringing up a lot for Season 3 is that a lot of fans feel that a lot of episodes felt like filler and that it had a lot of, you know, uh, lackluster dialogue and the celebrity cameos such as Lizzo and Jack Black were just way out of left field and just not really fit for Star Wars. It's different things like this and that. A lot of fans also did not like the whole switch of Bo-Katan being the center instead of Din Djarin, but I digress. So, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni had to say a couple of things about this fan backlash and criticism after the finale debuted on Disney+. Plus. Now, with Jon and Dave responding to many fan questions lately after the Season 3 finale, they eventually got on the subject about the fan criticism of Season 3, and were able to acknowledge some of the fan issues with this particular one. Jon Favreau started off by stating the following to the fans. I'm not going to sit here and lie that I have not seen the fan concern over this season, and look, you are always going to get criticism. You're not going to please everybody, but I felt that we got a ton more of it for this one. And look, I am not here to make any excuses, but we did allow those like Bryce Dallas Howard, Rick... Lee Isaac Chung, and Rachel Morrison to get a shot at making some very big and bold choices in the script this season to pass on some of their vision into this one particular season, and perhaps that wasn't the best thing to do with having so much creative input. It was also difficult for us with some of the rewrites that we participated in after some unforeseen circumstances and sort of altering our original vision, we had to meet many deadlines as well. Now let me stop right here quick for one second before I get to the next thing that Favreau brings up. He says, unforeseen circumstances. This, without a doubt, has a lot to do with Gina Carano getting fired and not returning as Cara Dune. Now to this day, we still have, of course, a lot of things happening with Gina Carano getting rehired. That's a big plan that's still underway between the Disney executives, uh, Bob Iger, John and Dave, and even George Lucas chiming in onto that. So that's a work in progress for season four and Ahsoka season two, mind you. Now the thing about this too, about what John Favreau is saying is that Bryce Dallas Howard, you know, Rick and others out there, of course, that were the directors had a pretty big hand in the creative process of the scripts of this particular season. They wanted to give them a shot and just maybe and maybe John and Dave were a little over, you know, generous to the directors in this season, allowing them to do what they wanted to do with some of the scripts and storytelling. Maybe they really lost touch with that trust. And I think that's what he said right here. The fact that they had so much creative input into this one season kind of made it a little bit difficult. You know, so that's the one thing that Favreau brought up there and really wanted to clear things up with the fans and really put that forward. Now, are they to blame about the celebrity cameos? Who knows? I'm really interested on exactly who made that call for Jack Black and Lizzo to enter into the picture. I still to this day do not agree with their overall appearance. In Mando Season 3, I felt like that was a very odd episode. It felt very out of place. That's just me, though. I don't know about you guys. But overall, 
The next thing that John Favreau elaborates on is, of course, going to go on to the following. But myself and Dave have noticed the fan criticism and look, the way I can respond to that is we can always do better. We learn from some mistakes and we pay attention to fans. We don't neglect or ignore the majority and if anything, this gives us more fuel to do a better job next time. I'm not here to make excuses, but I am here to make fans understand that sometimes things happen in the film industry and too much creative input could possibly make a story hard to follow. Dave Filoni then chimed in saying, yeah, so it is unfortunate that perhaps we didn't please everybody more than the usual, and like John said, we offered creative input other than ourselves into the script, and I love everyone who was involved. This isn't about pointing fingers or playing the victim card, but we have some exciting things coming for our next story, and I also cannot wait to, sh to explore the continuation of Din Jaren and Din Grogu. It's going to be exhilarating. Now, the thing about Jon Favreau, you can see that he's always a very respectful guy, right? He always knows exactly what to do in a scenario where he has to answer some questions of relating to a backlash or relating to, of course, fan criticism. I like the fact that he cleared things up here, that it was Bryce Dallas Howard and Rick and others out there that really got a shot at integrating some of their creative visions into the script. And that may have been a big mistake on their end. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to suspect that maybe one of those directors are the ones that came up with the idea of inserting celebrity cameos in that one episode that really just fell flat for a lot of fans. Let's be honest. That is the one episode where I personally noticed a day after the Rotten Tomatoes score dipped like 11%. And yeah, like I say, I mean, I know Rotten Tomatoes isn't always the best thing to go by, but it is somewhat of a example or a rough idea of where things are going. So when you look at Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and what they're saying here, they're really very modest. They really are. They're not really blaming anybody. They're not being harsh on anybody, but they are admitting to the situation. You know, maybe they allowed too much creative input in this season. This makes a lot more sense now. But the biggest question of all is, who made what happen? You know, will we ever learn more about that? Who knows? So, I think the finale was great, the episode before the finale was pretty solid, but all the episodes that came before that, you know, the previous six episodes, I feel like it just needed a lot more work, needed a lot more uh, vision and a better flow to the story, and perhaps, yeah, like John said, they originally wanted 10 to 12 episodes. I think that more episodes, you know, that had less filler would have been more proper for the development of season three. So overall, I would really like to hear what you guys have to say about this entire response by John and Dave to the fan criticism, to the supposed quote unquote fan backlash. And, you know, if you guys did enjoy the content for today, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about what John and Dave had to say to the fans. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.